going a That's little in a different different territory. So we now would request Dr. Rohit Chetty to you. tell his story of the glory of Narayan Netrale. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, thank you all thank the you, seniors uh, for inspiring us to reach to this stage where uh, I'm giving a talk on behalf of uh, my chairman and the watchmen for the last, who, who have finished the journey with us and who are continuing with us in the last 40 years. So uh, I will skip things which are uh, not. Our philosophy has always been, and uh, even though it looks like a slide which has come out of a, a philosophical <laughs> test book or a quote from somebody, this has been the foundation of what we have done and why we are here today at this point of time. When our chairman started his clinic, his clinic was half the size. And the challenge with us is we had to change the mindset from a clinic to an institute to a state where we are in. It's very, I think, I don't know, from uh, speaking from the other side, it might be easy uh, if I listen to the stories from, say, L.V. Prasad or Shankar and the vision was to create in the day one that you're creating a the institute or what it is today to compare to ones where you had to start from uh, from a clinic like uh, what sir mentioned to change the philosophy from a model what we have uh, what we started to something which we are today this has always been the philosophy in everything we do whether it's clinics or uh, work it all starts with curiosity so what have we what are we proud of in the last 40 years we started and most of it remains still the same. We might add more roots to it. I think the strongest philosophy is how you create the roots. When the roots are strong, then everything else becomes easy. Ethical care, stand by it even today, integrity, the trust which we, and our, the, the line which uh, we have put it outside our hospital is your faith shall heal you. I think that's a, probably the biggest thing the patient feels happy when he comes inside the hospital and it's printed in every logo of ours, your faith shall heal you. So that means you're trying to tell them that you have faith in us and a care and that itself will heal you. Research and uh, progressive vision is what I'm going to say. Uh, 20 years back when I started, I, I'm finishing 20 years today, half the time of what NN was started, I met uh, Dr. Devi Shetty, who is part of an organization, uh, sister organization in cardiac care. He said only one thing, your future is not an extension of past. So if you are going to do exactly the same thing what people are doing today, you'll be completely outdated by the time you reach 20, 25 years. So he gave me only one advice, that every five years, go back and think and do your own analysis and see what you're doing is going to be the future or it's going to be complete obsolete. And that's what I keep doing. And, and today, in 2022, I look at these things which would probably change everything. I don't want to go too deep into this. It's all in the website. People have spoken about technologies. And the most important thing is to have the vision of a child, you know, the wonders, and how these things can create changes through education and to something totally new. People before me have spoken about how you have to take that risk. So the biggest risk I had to take was to explain people why a complete private institute wants to do get into research when you know that it's not going to feed you money. Why do you want to pump in? And today, even today, I don't have an answer. I wish I had one. So at that point of time, we were very clear, if you want to bring research, you have to bring in research. You have to bring in serious research to this country. You have to make clinical, serious clinical researchers. If you don't have clinical researchers who are serious, then it's not going to work. And I started, and Chaitra is here, and lots of people. Then we changed to the next level that we were the first to give a complete direct PhD fellowship program. Universities in our state were not very keen. They thought we were going to make money out of it by selling this degree. So I had to go out of country to start giving it. PhD may be just an extra comma to your degrees, but what it changed is the mindset of thinking changed. And uh, me and Chaitra are here in this room. We never thought like this. 
when we were we were also doing work i had already published close to 100 120 papers when i got my phd before i got it but the last 150 odd papers were completely role defining and half of them are completely clinically translatable today and now my vision by 2030 is to have at least 70% of my clinicians reach this stage 70% of them should have a core area if i ask dr chaitra or if i ask dr anand or dr pooja or natasha what's your core area of work you can't say i do research on cornea that means you are not core areas if you don't have a core area of work then you can't call yourself researcher you should say i'm working on endothelial cell regeneration i'm working on and uh, ermd and a new biomarkers so that is a philosophy i think which we are proud of not only in this and every single thing the jack of all trick and master of none is an completely outdated principle if you're not able to master one it doesn't matter even if you are if you are if you if even if you are jack of everything it just doesn't work and these are the few people and the second big area of work we started doing is uh, dr heel style so you know basically there's a huge amount of stress among each one of them one big area we want to really build is to view a productive work culture there are a lot of my own residents out here who are part of all these programs it brings in tremendous changes in their own personality and philosophy of work has to be starting with your mental health and mental health is one of the biggest challenges doctors are facing and this has always been there as part of our philosophy then we went to building up a grow lab which i'm very proud of last 14 years now we start and in a in a better format i would say 11 years when you get this thing done the philosophy is what are you really getting into it has to be translated it has to be translated if you can't translate something in the next 5 years then you're wasting your time you can't say it will translate in 50 years and you have nobody has time it has to see a result so you divide it into different zones and you divide it into short term long term and really long term goals and start putting clinicians what i request all of you is if you don't as clinicians you don't get involved in it the scientists will only be doing this they don't know how it's translated and we clinicians do not know how to get this into the clinics so one of the biggest trend of us has been that we try to translate whatever has happening here and push the scientists to meet with the clinicians and that's the only way i think the research can work in this country i just rush through all these things you don't so what is the future we create this is i just heard this very nice uh, lesson from a person who runs a very big school the franchise of school uh, called delhi public school from the whole of karnataka he said and his son is my classmate and i think that's such a profound uh, impact on me just a few days back he said if you are employee of your school and his children join the school at the same level as he is like if it's an attender and he becomes an attender after your school after your after your training and other thing that means you are schooling and you have failed as a leader so what we try to tell our clinician is if you are trying to do exactly the same as what a leader is doing then the hospital and the whole philosophy has failed so i tell my fellows residents that you have to do it completely different from what you are doing and this is my teaching to all my residents just because your mentor or teacher does it doesn't mean that that has to be copied because what i'm doing today in next 2 or 3 years or 5 years is completely obsolete and anybody else can do it and this is what has been said so what's the future what i see in the next 5 or 10 years is trying to get into the vision of unknown and this is my dream not my when i say it's my it 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 represents the entire from the chairman to the watchman because if i they don't have the same principle or philosophy it will not work and i end with this uh, talk with a statement because you need a strong philosophy from the chairman to watchman because if the even the watchman is not in the same league as you are in your organization things don't work and the best statement was when john f kennedy asked somebody when he was going out 
before the man went to moon he asked the he asked the doorman what is your work here and his answer was i am sending the man i'm sending the man to moon and that day he said that this mission is going to be successful because if the doorman is the same philosophy as me there's no way it will it will fail so make this the philosophy whatever philosophy you have make it sure that it reaches every single person in your organization including your driver and then you see the difference thank you Excellent. thank you dr rohit shakti for creating such a wonderful institution we all are proud of you the type of research your team has been doing and actually making whole country really proud because uh, of course many other institution do copy and paste and have some thesis and other things but your research are really original and it's uh, really very very great thanks for bringing your institution to such an a level the whole of the country feels proud of you thank you thank sir. you dr rohit shakti dr rohit uh, one question so of course as uh, dr arban slal said that i think only the your main motto is to justify uh, find out unknown things so one request from most of uh, ophthalmologists uh, you do lot of research i think you have to start a special course how we do in fellowship only how to make a research project for a short term sort of fellowship one month course how to become a researcher i think that is going to become india will have a more and more research institutes thank you okay thank you now 